Hi everyone, welcome to Chemchem. Now today's video is on Understanding Symmetry in Inorganic Molecules Part 3 video. Already two videos are uploaded in channel. You can watch it. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. So in this video, we are going to deal with the symmetry elements and operations involved in IF5, XCF6 and SF4. So first molecule is IF5. So here we can see that it is appearing as a square pyramid shaped. So first of all, it will have the symmetry elements E. So one operation for that, then we will have a C4 axis passing through the top fluorine. So here we have a C4. Once we rotate for one C4, then the fluorines exchange their places, but since they are same atom, so no change, thus we can consider C4 as one of the symmetry elements. Next we have sigma V, that is one sigma V passing from this F to this F, another sigma V is passing from this F to this F and the other two sigma V's are passing from in between, that is it is passing between the two bonds, that is one this one another is this one. So we have four sigma v's. So in total we can write down as one is e which is one in number. Another is c4 which has three operations in it and one we have four sigma v that is four in number. So total we have eight operations and the point group for this is c Four V. Now we are going to shift for our next molecule which is XCF6. So this is exhibiting an octahedral geometry and in this case if you minutely see one of the lone pairs of xenon is placed here. And now we are going to find out that the structure will be distorted octahedral due to the presence of that lone pair. Now the structure is somewhat like this, the molecule becomes equivalent to this, that is here we have one triangle, another triangle is like this and in this case the part which is lone pair is placed here. So we will observe the whole molecule with respect to this axis passing through the lone pair. So this molecule is equivalent to our ammonia and the symmetry elements which we are going to get is E, C3 as a result of this one the fluorines will exchange places C3 and there will be three sigma V's passing from each of the fluorine in each plane. So finally we can write down our symmetry elements as first we have E that has one operation then we have C3 that has two operations and finally 3 sigma V that is three operations. So total there are six operations and this molecule becomes equivalent to ammonia as it is a distorted octahedral structure. Right and the point group for this one is same as that of ammonia that is C3 V. Now we are going to deal with SF4. So from here only you can understand that it has T shape and how these geometries come is already being discussed in BACPR theory video. You can watch that. I will give the link in the description box as well as the I button present above this video. So in this case you have a E symmetry element with one operation in it. Another you have a lone pair in it which is present here. But since in geometry we don't draw a lone pair, so this is not considered. Now we will see that it will have a C2 passing through this part. So we have a C2 here. So to find out our sigma v's whether present or not. So one sigma v will pass through the same part as C2. Another will be in the perpendicular direction. That is this portion will be another sigma v. And this one is our another sigma v. So finally we can write down the symmetry elements as first we have E which is 1 in number. 
then we have C2 which is only one operation and finally we have sigma v it is 2n number so total we have four operations and the symmetry element for this one is C to V. So we have completed discussing our three molecules. Here ends the video. Thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.